Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain change of scale property and Laplace transformations. See the statement. Before starting this topic, one small request. If you really like my videos, if you really like my classes, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Okay. Thank you. Uh, see the statement. If Laplace transformation of a function of t, f of t represents a function in the real variable t. If we apply Laplace transform operator to this function of t, the result should be in terms of s only. So that's why the result is represented by function of s. Sometimes we can also represent this function of s with a bar of s. Don't use small f yeah, small f of s. Okay, already we are using small f to function of t. That's why the, don't use small f of s here. Okay, then Laplace transformation of function of a t is equal to one by a into function of s by a. This is the result of change of scale property. Okay, so. If the given function is in this structure, what is the structure? Function of a t is 1 by a. If a given structure is f of a t, then we can use the change of scale property. Then its Laplace transform is 1 by a and into function of s by a. Nothing but in this function of s, whenever we have s, replace it by s by a. I will explain this statement with a suitable example. See. This is the example. If L of f of t is equal to 1 by s into e power minus 1 by s, directly Laplace transformation of a function of t is given here in terms of s, then we have to find L of f of 3t. So, first of all, see it is in the form of f of a t. That is why we have to apply change of scale property to get the value of Laplace transformation of f of 3t. And what is the next one? L of e power minus t into f of 3t. It is in the form of e power a t into function of t. That is why we can use first shifting theorem to get the value of the second one. Okay. So, first of all, let us find the value of first one by using change of scale property. Solution. Given that, once again I am writing given statement here, L of f of t is equal to 1 by s into e power minus 1 by s. We can put the name as function of s. Say. So, by change of scale property, by change of scale property, you can take this is the first point, change of scale property on Laplace. We have L of e power a t into f of t is equal to sorry this is first shifting theorem l of f of 3 a t you can write l of f of a t is equal to 1 by a function of s by a this is the statement of the change of scale property so l of write the given problem here f of 3 t so by comparing given problem with the above general structure we have a is equal to 3 so 1 by 3 function of s by 3 so, 1 by 3 into what is function of s by 3? In this given function of s, whenever we have s replaced by s by 3. Here we have 1 by s. So, in the denominator s, we should write s by 3. So, you should write re reciprocal of this term 3 by s into e power. In the power also, we have 1 by s. We have to replace s by s by 3. 1 by s by 3, you will get minus 3 by s. 3 3 gets cancelled. So, the result is 1 by s into e power minus 3 by s. You can say again this is f of s. Okay. Now, <coughs> sorry. To get the second one, we have to apply first shifting theorem. So, by first shifting on Laplace transform, we know that L of e power a t into f of t is equal to 
function of s minus a. Similarly, write the given problem here and compare with this statement. L of e power minus t into here our function f of t is nothing but f of 3t. So, what is a value? Minus 1. So, we you will get f of s plus 1. So, in this function of s, whenever we have 1 by s, whenever we have s, replace it by s plus 1. So, 1 by s plus 1 into e power minus 3 by s plus 1. Very simple. This change of scale property is also similar to the first shifting theorem. In the first shifting theorem, whenever we have s in function of s, we replace it by s minus a. But in the case of change of scale property, we have to replace s by s by a and we have to write 1 by a in the product. Okay. Thank you very much. In the next video, I will give some more examples on transformations. Thank you very much.